Hey everyone, Jamie here, and today I'm going to show you a variety of ways to DIY a pumpkin without having to pick up a carving knife. When you think of a Halloween pumpkin, I'm guessing you're picturing something like this. And that's a totally classic look, but today I'm going to help you think outside the box in order to make some pumpkin decor. That's right, I'm gonna spill my guts on how to DIY four no-carve pumpkins so that way you don't have to spill your pumpkin's guts. Gross. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so the supplies that you need for your pumpkin depends on what type of design that you wanna make. Overall, I'd say that you need scissors, cardstock, paint and a paintbrush, and any kind of pumpkin, whether it's real or fake. Now, as you're going to see, all of my pumpkins are going to be different shapes and sizes because they're real pumpkins that were grown in my neighbor's backyard. Our agreement is that I would craft them now and then they would turn them into pumpkin pie later. Talk about a sweet deal. <laughs> All right, here we go. One, donut pumpkins. This would be the perfect donut shape and color, but since mine were free from the neighbors, mine are green, bigger, and odd long. No biggie, you know, just work with what you got. Paint your pumpkin the color of your favorite kind of donut. Then paint the top half of the pumpkin in any type of frosting color you like, making sure to follow the ribbing of the pumpkin to get that gooey frosting shape. Then have fun creating sprinkles with markers or more paint. When finished, they'll look so delicious that you could just eat them, which is actually totally fine because they're pumpkins, so they're edible. But they're not gonna taste like donuts. Unless you made a pumpkin donut. You know what, I'm getting off track here. Two, confetti pumpkins. Paint your pumpkin white, or just start with a fake pumpkin that's already white. Use a paper punch to create a bunch of circle shapes from colorful tissue paper. Then use craft glue to attach these circles all over your pumpkin. When finished, you're left with fun and colorful room decor. This design reminds me of confetti cake, which reminds me of donuts, which reminds me that I'm hungry right now. You know, honestly, I should probably eat something before I start filming these videos. Three, emoji pumpkins. Scroll through your list of favorite face emojis and then get to work duplicating that look on your pumpkin. I think it could be fun to have opposing emotions on either side of your pumpkin to mimic a sort of like Jekyll and Hyde theme. <gasps> I just love your costume. Or do I? Eh, see? Jamie's Pumpkin Puppet Theater coming soon. And four, animal pumpkins. I saw a ton of designs on Pinterest last week and so now everything within me has wanted to create at least one of them for you. Paint a triangle nose, two huge eyes, and bottom feathers in order to create a pumpkin owl. Who, who is adorable. Take this idea and run with it. I mean, you can create anything from a fox to a bear to a cat to a penguin, to a minion from Despicable Me, to Olaf from Frozen, to like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I mean, the ideas are endless. Or just stick with something adorable like this cutie patootie. I will leave it up to you. And there you go, four ways to DIY a pumpkin with your pumped up kin. How did your pumpkin design turn out? Hit me up on any of my social media or just let me know in the comments below. If you've still got a bunch of pumpkins left over, let's keep getting crafty with them. Click the video on your left to find out three different pumpkin spice DIYs, including a pumpkin spice candle and pumpkin spice latte. And if you gutted your pumpkin before you started decorating it, click the video on your right to learn four different pumpkin seed recipes. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. Oh, I really wish you were a donut.